Perry at bbc.co.uk. Now, I get very excited. <laughs> generally, to be honest. Uh, but it's, it's thoughty, so I mean, I, that's kind of what I do. It's my modus operandi. Um, but I get excited when um, I'm doing choiry things, because uh, I used to sing in a choir, so it's, it's all very close to my heart. And Peter Frost is here, um, ahead of a summer serenade at Holy Trinity Church in Blytheborough. Very important job uh, Peter has, because you're a librarian. Indeed I am, <laughs> yes. I've just taken over from someone else who's who's done a wonderful job for us, and I'm sort of learning on the job. Uh, I hope I don't make too many mistakes. Well, it's, it's very important, <laughs> and, and it sounds like uh, the choir deals with more than your average repertoire, because... The, the the concert, the Summer Serenade, includes music by composers who I have heard of, but who are pretty, you know, interesting, like Jenkins, Taverner, Whitaker, Indeed. and then composers I have never heard of. Oh, right. Like, um, well, do well. Maybe I've heard of them, but I don't know them. Like Dubra, oh, Hassler, yes. and this one in the middle I can't even pronounce. Oh, the one that starts with a G and a J. Oh, J Lo. J Lo. Yes. J -Lo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It sounds like a equipment for gardening, doesn't it, or something a little like bit. that? Yes. I mean, what a fantastic repertoire you it, have. It is. It is superb. It's all down to Claire, Western Super Claire, as we sometimes refer. <laughs> 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 she uh, she chooses the repertoire, and she she's brilliant. I think. And um, um, you were, you were saying that you've been converted to Whitaker. Whitaker, having, oh, Whitaker's ethereal. It's superb music. Having a chat with uh, producer marvelous Matt before we got on air about Whitaker, and I said he's he's kind of like the rock star of the classical kind of choral yes, composer I think world. That's right. Because he's got the hair, and you'll if you see a photo of <laughs> him, he's probably in a little leather jacket or something. He's pretty good looking, yeah. and uh, and and he writes you. You hit the nail on the head there. The most extraordinary ethereal music. Absolutely, yes. And and in this church, I think it'll it'll really go well. You know, <laughs> I, uh, along with some of the other things that will go well as well. And what Whitaker are you singing? And this is the Seal Lullaby, um, which uh, I always think when when we sing it, I can sort of imagine being on um, what Brancaster or somewhere up in the north and seeing the seals out there yes. at Blakeney Point or somewhere like that. It's it's ethereal and it's also very clashy. It's all very uh, kind yes. of like lots of crunchy chords. Yes, but when you think of it out on the yeah. uh, on the on the hard uh, with the the waves coming mm. in and you've got the clashing of the waves and at the same time you've got the 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 stillness and of the the air around you and perhaps the sound of a skylark or whatever. And I think he captures it. You're right. Spot on. He probably didn't know he was capturing that when he wrote it because I think he's American. But <laughs> I, I think you are absolutely um, yeah. you're absolutely right. Do you have a favourite? Um, I, actually, I think my favourite, uh, not just Whitaker, but my favourite on, on our yeah. concert is probably Bridge Over Troubled Water, which we end with. It's an up-tempo version. And uh, I, I did actually ask that to be included, and, and uh, Claire decided that she would. Uh, it's, it's just a superb version. It just moves on. And it's I, not the usual version. I do love um, getting the chance to sing choral versions of well-known popular either classics or modern releases yes. there's something really wonderful i think it's why you get the like the, the pitch battle uh, choir show where they're so effective when you hear well hear a choir singing anything but it's it's just so so immediately familiar and, and engaging when it's yes. something that everybody knows yes yes uh, in fact actually i was i was listening sorry it wasn't to radio suffolk it was radio <laughs> four this morning uh, You're uh, forgiven. Uh, uh, desert island discs and i thought oh. Oh, a couple of those there i wonder if there's a choral version you know, Blackbird by McCartney, oh. and, uh, uh, you know, uh, oh, uh, and God be. only knows the Beach Boys. Surely, there's a choral version of those. Well, that could be your next suggestions well, to Western Super Claire, <laughs> <laughs> or or, um, or Waterloo uh, Sunset, you oh. know, something like that. These I don't know whether there's there's choral versions. It just occurred to me that if we if there was. Well, Western, we do Western Super Claire could probably write one. She sounds pretty <laughs> super. What is it like being conducted by her? Oh, it's it's another. Uh, uh, she is the best best person that I've ever stood in front of for conducting. I think I read a, a line somewhere where somebody had said that every rehearsal was like a masterclass. Absolutely, it is. But also, she's very good at conveying what she wants. Uh, 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 partly because she's a trained singer. Uh, I mean, she was lead soprano of English National Opera for a time. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a giveaway of someone's talent, It does isn't help, it? doesn't it? It does <laughs> help, yes. But, but she does convey what she wants, and with a bit of luck, we 
we respond. <laughs> and choral singing um, is hard, and singing yeah. harmonies is hard. We talk about about Whitaker or Tam yes. or any of these things, and they are. I mean, they're well written, and I suppose that makes they them a little are. bit easier. But that you've got to hold your line sometimes you in have. direct opposition to somebody else who's Absolutely. singing a note that might put you off. Obviously, there's rhythm, and there's you've got to be quite connected with the other singers yes. so that you're all sounding like one. The whole point is you've you're got kind to be of one a team unit. Player. Yeah, you've got to be a team player if you're going to be a choral singer. You know, you can't you can't be a soloist on your own. Yeah. yeah. But then the good thing is, uh, at the end result, I'm not sure there is really anything that is quite like singing in a mass of voices all together. It is this extraordinary feeling. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, it's wonderful. And not yes. too bad for the congregation and or the audience. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and at ten pound a go uh, on Saturday. You know, I, I think that's very good value of money. It is, especially to see, hear all this extraordinary music. So we're talking about tomorrow, 7.30, at the Holy Trinity Church, Blytheborough, for this summer serenade. Yes. How um, how often do you rehearse? Like, What are preparations? Have, what have they been like in this final week before the oh, concert? The, the final week, we have a couple of rehearsals, but normally we rehearse just on a Thursday night. Um, but uh, we rehearse on Tuesday as well as Thursday, and we'll have a rehearsal uh, an hour or so before the actual performance. And and do you get nervous? Uh, actually, I don't. Now, <laughs> just enjoy it. It's I, the best I enjoy way. it. Yes, yes. I mean, we we know we've done everything right, and we know as long as we keep our eyes on Claire, <laughs> it is right. I mean, uh, and uh, if you take your eyes off for a second, you can go wrong. That's uh, yes. But it is very important to look at the conductor. But you're doing a better job than most choirs if you are looking at the conductor, because I think there's quite a lot of choirs out there who who aren't. In fact, I think choral singers or singers in general always get the bad reputation for just just not paying attention. <laughs> and, and men more than women, actually. Uh, I couldn't possibly comment. <laughs> that was entirely your saying, uh, Peter. I'm, I'm not commenting at all. Um, if people are interested in joining the Suffolk Singers, do you do they have to audition? Yes, they have to audition ah. and there has to be a space available. Oh, wow. So yes. it's, it's, it's probably not just that easy to rock up and be I'm involved. I'm afraid so, yes. But you, we invite you Select. along to come along for a couple of rehearsals. And if you like us, uh, you, you audition and um, Claire will say whether you're included or put on the waiting list for when there's a space. What's it like to be in such an exclusive bunch? I'm amazed that they took me, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what voice are you, Peter? Uh, I'm a second tenor. Ah. Ah, tenor, yes. very desirable tenors are hard sought after. Hey, they, indeed, yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's how I got in yeah. because <laughs> we're a bit thin on the ground. <laughs> but, you know, you're just extra special, an Thank extra you. special tenor. <laughs> so people want to come along. How do they get hold of tickets for this summer serenade? Well, there, are, there will be some on the door uh, or they can go to the wegotickets.com uh, or even Roger's telephone number which is 01394 And we've got uh, that number if you want it. And there's more about the Suffolk Singers at suffolksingers.co.uk. Indeed. I've thoroughly enjoyed hearing about it. The great news for all of you tuned into BBC Radio Suffolk at the moment is we've actually got a couple of minutes of the Suffolk Singers so you can hear exactly what they're made of. And this piece, just tell me a little bit about it before um, we play. This was written by Finzi for his wife. It's a love song, really. And we're often asked to do it at weddings. Um, which we're delighted to do. And it's it's a lovely piece of music. Uh, it, when the bride and groom are going out to this strain, or sometimes when they're signing the register, it really works. And are you on this recording? I believe so. Oh, so. <laughs> Hidden there but in I the won't team stand out. where he won't stand out because <laughs> he's playing his teamwork is Peter Frost, <laughs> who's a committee member and also librarian for Suffolk Singers. Go and see them at Holy Trinity Church Blyther for their summer serenade tomorrow. 7.30, tickets £10 on the door. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs>
Yes. Round of applause for the Suffolk singers. My spirit sang all day. And uh, thank you very much to Peter Frost. Go see their summer serenade concert in Blythe at Holy Trinity Church. 7.30 tomorrow. Tickets, £10. <laughs> <laughs>